Okay, this is SB33. Let's take a look at number one. Okay, Diana worked on her science project for five and one-third hours. Gabe worked, so Diana did five and a third hours. Gabe worked on his science project one and one-fourth times as long as Diana. So Gabe equals one and one-fourth times as much as Diana. Okay, so it looks like he worked more. Uh, Paula worked on her science project three-fourths times as long as Diana. So Diana's times three-fourths. Okay, now I have to, for numbers 1a through d, select yes or no to indicate whether each statement is true. I could go through and figure out what, I know how long Diana worked, and I could figure out how long Gabe and Paula worked. But I'm looking at this, and I don't see any numbers. So I'm thinking they just want me to use um, mental math, all right? By looking at this, I know when I take a whole number and I multiply it by another whole number, I'm going to get a term that's bigger, an, an answer, a product that's bigger than both terms. When I multiply uh, a number by a fraction, I'm going to get an answer that is smaller than my whole number, okay, because this one is less than. So the first one says Diana worked longer on her science project than Gabe worked on his science project. Well, no, because Gabe worked one and one-fourth times as long, so he worked more than she did. So, no, Diana did not work more. Paula worked less on her science project than Diana worked on her science project. Yes, I'm going to say yes, that's right, because when you take a whole number and multiply it by a fraction, you're going to get a number that is smaller than this initial whole number. Let, let's do the math, just, just to prove that, times 3 fourths, okay? I know I have to go numerator over denominator times numerator over denominator. I'm going to make this an improper fraction, which would be 16 over 3, times that by 3 fourths. These cross out. This is a, these cross out, and I'm left with 4. 4 is less than 5 and 1 third, so we can say that Paula worked less on her project. Gabe worked longer on his science project than Paula worked on her science project. Well, yes, because if we look at this, Gabe worked the longest, then came Diana, and then came Paula. So yes, Gabe did work longer than Paula. And Gabe worked longer on his science project than Diana and Paula combined. Hmm. All right, I, I did just find the math for how long Paula worked, which was four hours. So four hours was how long Paula worked, and Diana worked five and one-third. That's going to add up to nine and one-third, right? So five and one-third plus four would equal nine and one-third. Uh, now I'm going to have to do math here because I need to find out how long Gabe actually worked. So I already found 5 and 1 third. It was 16 over 3. So 16 over 3, okay, that I had to change that, times 1 and 1 fourth. So 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 over 4, I'm going to cross these out and reduce them. And I'll get 20 over 3. 3 goes into 20 um, 6 times, oh, so uh, 18 and 2 thirds, right? So this is Gabe and it says that Gabe worked longer on his science project than Diana and Paula combined. Diana and Paula combined was 9 and a third, so no, he didn't work longer and I did have to do some math at the end there. Okay, um, let's move on to the next one. We can also know that Gabe didn't, if, if you wanted to do no math, if Gabe worked one and a fourth times as long as Diana, but Paula only worked three fourths as time as Diana, this number that Gabe worked would have to be bigger than three fourths, one and three fourths. Okay, and I know that one-fourth is smaller than three-fourths. So if you wanted to do no math, you could have said, well, if he only worked one and one-fourth times as long, then it's not going to be as much 
as Diana and Paula combined because Paula worked three fourths as long. This number would have to be bigger than three fourths. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at number two. Again, I can do number two with all mental math, just like I could have done number one with all mental math. Let's do number two with all mental math. Remember, if you multiply a fraction with a number that's greater than one, your answer is going to equal something greater than four and five fifths. Okay, so this is bigger than one. So my answer is going to be bigger than one. And it just, it says write each multiplication expression, which means I just need to go like this. I just need to write the expression. One and one eighth, okay? This one is checked, done. I got four fifths right here. I'm multiplying it by a fraction that is smaller, one third, which means that's going to be less than four fifths. So one third times four fifths will be a product less than four fifths. Looking here, I have a whole number that's greater than one, so it's going to be greater than four fifths. So three and four fifths is gonna go here. Now I have something that is the same thing. It's four fifths and then four fifths again. Hmm, well, don't get confused by that. Remember, it either has to be greater than one or less than one for this to be something. And this is less than. If this is less than one, then the product will be less than four fifths. Do you remember when you multiply fractions, you get even more fractions. So it's like a smaller number. Now this, don't be tricked by this. This is exactly one. If I multiply any number by one, it is equal to that number. So it's gonna go here because it's equal. And this one, same thing. Don't be tricked by this two over two, it's just like saying one. And when you multiply something by one, it is equal to itself. Okay, so we got all those terms there. Put commas so you can see in between the terms. And the last one, number three, Doreen lives three-fourths mile from the library, and Sheila lives one-third as far away from the library as Doreen. Okay, so let's see. I I'm going to draw this. Here's the library. Here is Doreen's house. One, two, three, one, two, oh wait, let's do uh, one, make this a little better. Okay. All right. So, if she lives three-fourths mile from the library, it's not a whole mile, it's just three-fourths. If I went the whole mile, it would go to here, okay? So I'm going to go, this is one, two, oh, sorry, again, did it again. Three-fourths. A mile from the library. And Sheila lives a third as far away from the library as Doreen. So a third, if I were to take this and divide it into thirds, if this is the library and this is one third, two thirds, and here's three thirds, Doreen lives right here. This is Doreen's house, okay? Now I have to answer yes or no to these questions. Does Doreen live farther from the library than Sheila? No, Doreen lives closer. Um, oh wait. Hmm, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. This is Sheila. My apologies. Doreen is over there. This is S for Sheila. So does Doreen live farther? Yes. I'm so sorry I confused you right there. This is Sheila. This is Doreen. This is the library. Okay. Does Doreen live farther? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. It looks like she lives farther. Does Sheila live one-fourth mile from the library. 
uh, well, I divided it up, and that is right where the one fourth is. So yes, right? Is if this is like three fourths and one fourth, she lives one fourth away from the library. And the last one is, does Sheila live twice as far from the library than Doreen? Twice as far? Well, than Doreen? No, right? That, that doesn't look correct. Also, one-third plus one-third would be there. So she lives a little further, right? So no. All right, and if you're hooking in for SB33, there are your answers.